So I come back to Bialystok every year since 2016. We started a nonprofit called the Bialystok Cemetery Restoration Fund, and we bring volunteers to restore the cemetery at Bakanoga. Well, my family was originally from Bialystok, my mother's grandfather, so my great-grandfather, and they, I think my great-grandfather was born in Bialystok, his wife in Sokolka, and they brought their family in 1925-ish to Bialystok, and they were here during the Holocaust and died during the Holocaust. We're a Bialystoker, and also I just happen to be fortunate to be married to Josh Deegan, who's a stonemason, a machine operator, and a landscape contractor, so he knew that he could have a better method to help speed up the months of vote that, we were, li that were being lifted already, and we have now officially lifted 2,000. And we couldn't do it without local Bialystokers. Each year we have such dedicated people and people that continue to, to come back year after year. So we've made some wonderful friends too. So we came in 2015 and my first question was, where's the Jewish Museum? 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, where is the Jewish Museum? Half of the population was Jewish, where's the Jewish Museum? Yes, this place is amazing and I can't tell you how grateful I am. And the city, I mean, people have to realize Jewish history is also their history. So, and I think that that is what the place is, is giving to the city as well. This year has been amazing, just absolutely amazing. The group that I'm a member of, the Friends of Jewish um, Cemeteries in Poland are here. So we're finally meeting people that we used to meet with on Zoom and they each have their cemeteries that they're working on. So those people are here, our continue, continued support by local Bialystokers, new volunteers that bring new set of skills. We have a man named Asher who also has his roots in Bialystok and he has been able to, because he's from Israel and is very uh, well read in, in um, Jewish texts, he's been able to translate a lot of the stones for Heidi, which is a huge help for her. Heidi Speck has been unbelievable. She comes every year and she's the one that manages the database. And so this year she finally has help with Asher and he has found I think he's up to five family members. So this year we've had a tremendous amount of families that have been reunited with their ancestors. We had a family from Israel that brought, I think, 18 people, and they found over six stones, months of votes. So it's really been a lot. And there was this family that just popped in, didn't even know the cemetery was open. They're from also from Israel. They were going to Lithuania. They found a stone that was mentioned in a book that their family wrote. One line, there was this great woman from Bialystok and they were able to hunt her down, figure out what her name was, and we actually had raised, we raised the stone for them and then the daughters cleaned it and painted it. If I find a grave in my family, I will literally uh, faint. I'm not expecting it. I really am not. What if you find? I can't even say how I'll feel. It'll Maybe be amazing. Maybe you move to Bialystok. I really would love to move to Bialystok and open a Bialy store. I really think you guys need to jump on that. People all over the world know Bialystok, Bialys are from Bialystok, but then you, it's hard to find them here. Um, I think we're gonna be another six years in Bagnolka because of these projects out of the cemetery, the mound project. So we, we found 122 stones in the mound outside of Bagnolka and then another 21 outside of the opera, on the opera mound at the central uh, park area so that has taken a lot of Josh's time so he tried to accelerate how many stones he could raise this time and it's it has prolonged our time here which is wonderful because I love coming here but uh, I think it's kind of prevented us from moving on to like Sokolka or Krinky. Those I think are the two that are on our yeah. well we have the pillar that we are uh, that has been sent to the conservator that we're restoring for the pogroms of, of 1905 and 1906. So there's going to be, be some ribbon cutting um, ceremonies. We might just send Heidi, or we might um, all come back for that moment, or we might put it off until August, next August. We're not sure. It should be done by, by December. Okay, we have to finish Michael Levy's cake. Okay. You know him? No. Wonderful person. Just okay. Michael